In order to facilitate exchange, our ancestors developed the concept of currency. With the popularity of internet came the idea of digital currency. They are similar to physical currencies but allow instantaneous transactions and can be transferred across borders. They can be used to buy physical goods and services. However, they are still not accepted everywhere. Examples include virtual currency and cryptocurrencies. Like traditional money, these currencies may be restricted to certain communities such as an online game or a social network. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency and a digital payment system. It was invented by an unknown programmer under the name Satoshi Nakamoto in 2009. Just like our physical currencies, Bitcoin is not backed by gold. You can purchase bitcoins from the market, receive them as payments for goods and services, or create them yourself through a process called mining. Mining is done by solving mathematical problems. The miner is entitled to bitcoins as reward. Bitcoins are being mined by people and businesses all around the world by using softwares that solve such problems. They are mined using multiple systems on the same network. If one computer solves a particular code and gets the assigned bitcoins, it will inform all other systems on the network that there is no need to solve that particular code again. The same network is used to process transactions made with bitcoins, thus making bitcoin its own payment network. You don't even need to disclose your identity on the network. Your number is your only existence. Each balance has a public private key pair. This private key can be used to approve transactions. Every bitcoin address represents one public key that may look like this. The transacting parties do not know each other. It is an open source software so anyone can look at it to know what exactly it is doing. The value is also influenced by principles of demand and supply. As the demand goes up, the value of bitcoin increases. The value of bitcoin is highly volatile. As of now, it's on an all time high and is expected to increase over 10 times. But it won't be surprising to see a sudden fall in the price even lower than it is now. There's always a risk that your account can be hacked and your entire bitcoin fortune may slip out of your hands. Bitcoin's inventor Nakamoto designed bitcoins based on artificial scarcity. The difficulty of the math problem increases depending on how fast they are being solved. So, as time passes, the number of bitcoins mined will keep reducing and the total will not exceed 21 million. When the central government prints more currency, the currency in circulation increases. People have more money to spend and the demand for products increase. This causes a rise in price, thus leading to inflation. As the total number of bitcoins will never exceed 21 million, some people say inflation would not be a problem in the future. But at present, as 21 million bitcoins are being introduced in the market, it has led to more money in circulation and thus leading to inflation. According to a research done by Cambridge University, there are more than 2.9 million unique users using a cryptocurrency wallet, most of them using bitcoins. Bitcoins are created by a community of people that anyone can join. Is it a good thing or a bad one? We would love to know your thoughts on this.